Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com my name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic very short session on market segmentation jaldi jaldi karenge hum theek hai so let's start the session with what is uh, before starting the session let me give you an important note students if you have done if you are watching this video then most probably you have done mba in marketing so if you have done mba in marketing pg dbm in marketing mba in marketing and finance mba in marketing and hr or pg db pg uh, pgm in marketing any post graduate diploma in marketing with first class then you are eligible for spm cil assistant manager assistant marketing manager post theek hai uh, the enhanced salary is around 75000 per month which is amazing it's a golden opportunity there is a two tier selection process there is an exam followed by the interview the last day to apply is 3rd of october 2022 3rd of october 2022 is the last day to file your application zarur zarur apply kare theek hai so let's start with what is market segmentation see students market segmentation you are categorizing the market right see uh i'll give you a good example of adult diapers adult diapers for example you want to market or promote adult diaper you are a marketer uh, you got a project to promote or to advertise adult diapers who is going to use the adult diapers kon use karega adult diapers uh people whose age is more than I guess 65 years. This is the target market. Mostly 90-95% people, uh, they are going to use it. 95% plus or 99% people uh, are 65 years and plus, right? So what we are doing, we know that the person whose age is more than 65 years and who has some issues uh, in the uh, in the in the you know, some medical issues they are going to use it right so we segmented the market we identified our target market that is market segmentation so market segmentation it is a marketing term referring to aggregating prospective buyer into groups or segments with the common needs who respond similarly to a marketing action so adult diapers right whoever can use an adult diaper right we, uh, we are grouping those people right so this is the whole market let's say this is the whole market so many people in the market right and we know this is the group exactly this is the group this group is going to use our products right if we are going to the market to sell our adult diapers this is the you know this is the uh, you know, these are the people who are going to buy our products, right? So we are segmenting them. And how market segmentation helps a company? Market segmentation basically enables companies to target the, uh, you know, a, a different category of consumers. So now instead of, you know, promoting our product to the whole market, let's say there is 100,000 people living in a in a city out of them only i would say only you know 500 people or 800 people are using adult diapers this is our product so instead of promoting our product to 100000 people we are we want to promote our product among these 500 to 800 people where we can find these people hum aise logon ko kahan dhoond sakte hain uh maybe in the uh, in the morning maybe at gardens so most of these 65 plus people you can find them at uh, you know um, gardens if there is a huge garden in your city you can find them there okay or uh, or some religious place so this is very common right uh so this is a good example let's move forward demographic segmentation so there are there, there is uh, there are methods by which you can basically segment the market right demographic is is a very common one very easy for example uh, uh, while we were doing segmentation for the diapers uh, adult diapers uh, we did uh, use the age as a variable anybody who is 65 plus 
he might be using a dull diaper maybe he is using a diaper gender there are certain products uh, sanitary pads females are using sanitary uh, pads but males are not using it right so uh, while promoting san sanitary pads you you have to promote those products to the females not to the males right income so even that is a you know a good criteria if you want to promote a luxury brand a luxury perfume a perfume worth 7000 8000 10000 you have to promote that product to the to somebody who's making at least 10 lakh rupees a year right at least so occupation uh, yeah that see there's these there are a lot of factors occupation family size race religion uh, how religion impacts the the buying behavior the turbans right uh, the sardar the sikhs they 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 are going to buy turbans right obviously uh, not many hindus are going to buy turbans right marital status affects Uh, the buying behavior uh, most probably unmarried people are not going to buy much of jewelry they do, they don't buy jewelry most of the unmarried people they, they don't buy that much jewelry but married people they buy a lot of jewelry they spend a lot of money on that thing education ethnicity so uh, education and ethnicity expenses the expenses or the buying behavior is dependent upon a lot of factors and demography uh, the easiest way to you know categorize or segment a market okay the geographic segment so uh, the 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 people of punjab they they demand for different kind of products the people in manipur they may demand for different kind of products uh for example a lot of people in in the state of punjab and haryana are vegetarian like more than 60% of uh, punjabis and people in the state of haryana they are vegetarians but while a lot of uh, uh, while number of vegetarian in in the state of bihar is just uh, 30% right so the eating habits are different the, the needs are actually different right the weather is different so the people in punjab there is a you know the weather in the months of december it's very cold so uh, we need more jackets while uh, in the cities of bangalore the the weather is always you know normal it's always 15 to 25 30 degrees so they don't need that many jackets or warm clothes right so the weather is different right in the different cities the weather is different the eating habits are different so <clears throat> lot of differentiations are there so geographic segmentation you are dividing or you are subsetting the you are categorizing the whole population into segments on the basis of geography on the basis of where the people are living zip code country code uh, on the basis of you know city country population density distance from a certain location climate time zone dominant language so that is according to the geographic okay so that is geographic segmentation what is psychographic segmentation very uh, see first two were very easy to understand demographic and geographic were very easy to understand now psychographic little complicated to understand so it focuses on the personality or inner traits of uh, you know your target market difficult to understand the political opinion opinion of your target market the pol the political opinion of your target market the value the goals while uh, you know making a marketing campaign it is actually very difficult to understand uh, you know uh, your uh, it's very difficult to segment your target market according to the the physiographic uh, you know factors or variables very difficult uh, the pain points the needs the hobbies personal traits interests sexual orientation political party affiliation it's very difficult to know that right very very difficult to know that uh, on the sometimes on the basis of those interest you have to promote your products right you have to promote your products on the basis of these uh, uh, psychographic segmentations right so the values goals needs pain points hobbies according to those you have to promote your products for example smart watches 
smart watches so if you want to promote the smart watches how what kind of people you are targeting it i mean who's your target market obviously i mean uh, it's not about um, you know y- young age people or the elderly people are not using it everybody is using it it's a very amazing device it's available at a very uh, you know some it's a 13 15000 you can buy it the simple series 3 a lot of features are there so who you are targeting it towards even my 60 70 year old father is using it and maybe some 15 year old kid can use it so obviously not according to the age right so who uh, health conscious somebody who is conscious about his health he is going to measure the steps every day right so health conscious this is how uh, this is what your personality is you are a health conscious person you will keep a track on what you putting inside you what you are eating how much you are walking you will keep track on your physical activities you will keep track on your you know exercises workouts you will know i ate 2500 calories today i burned 1500 calories today what is my calorie surplus what is my deficiency so if you are health conscious you are going to track your um, you know steps to do that you need a smart watch uh, so that's a physiographic segment that's how you do it we are targeting uh, this product to health conscious people right lot of such products are there a lot of health conscious products are there according to hobbies uh, you know uh, how would you know if somebody is into music somebody likes music i mean some somebody who if you are trying to you know sell a karaoke product you made a microphone and there is a small speaker and you want to promote that um my 67 years old father he uses karaoke uh my maybe i guess uh, 12 year old nephew he loves karaoke so you cannot differentiate right, right? you cannot segment on the basis of age this is just a number when it comes to your hobbies right you can be an old person but still very old person but still you love to sing you can be a very young guy you love to sing to ye matter karta hai theek hai age is not important here that is your hobby right and if i want to promote a karaoke product i should know your hobbies so i am promoting this product to anybody who loves to sing right for himself he may not want to be a professional singer professional singers never buy karaoke products right <laughs> they never do that right they'll buy these kind of microphones uh, this is sort of professional microphone right but i use it for teaching anyways uh, that that is my hobby actually i mean that's my hobby i mean buying musical equipments although i don't uh like to sing or anything but still i like musical instruments anyways behavioral segmentation it's very same um see uh you'll confuse between psycho uh, the physiographic the psychographic sorry psychographic and behavioral a lot of uh, you know similarities are there behavioral segmentation focuses on the actions of your target audience right the buying actions behavioral segments tend to focus more on purchase and interaction rather than on opinion and thoughts the uh, the psychographic it it is focusing on the actions it is focusing on uh, you know how the person is thinking whatever the hobbies are i mean that is the liking of a person right the goals values it's in the mind वो सोच है हाउ यू रिएक्ट वॉट एवर योर एक्शन आर दैट इज योर बिहेवियर एज अ नेम सजेस्ट बिहेवियर हाउ डू यू बिहेव हाउ यू हाउ वुड यू एक्चुअली रिएक्ट इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च टू अंडरस्टैंड टू टू सेगमेंट योर मार्केट बट बिहेवियरियल सेगमेंटेशन हाउ वुड यू रिएक्ट द परचेजिंग हैबिट्स सो good example actually 
what uh, you know while buying see coke let's assume i mean i like the brand fanta so um as a person if you want to drink a soda or a coke or this you know coke or fanta uh, how much quantity do you need i mean if you want to drink coca cola or fanta how much quantity would you drink most probably your answer would be like 200 ml or 300 ml if you are living in india that is the most common answer 200 300 ml that is what we drink if you ever been to us or you are watching us videos on youtube those people for them 700 ml is common 700 to 900 ml this is common they they don't drink 200 ml they drink like 500 600 700 ml this is common for them that is their behavior this is our behavior right this is our purchasing habit we drink only that much right what kind of milk do you drink the if you are drinking buffalo milk 4.5% fat that is your behavior if somebody is drinking 6% fat milk that is their behavior if somebody is not drinking you know uh, milk cow milk and that person is drinking um, you know almond milk or oat milk which is actually very common abroad right that is a behavior that is a purchasing habit how much quantity what kind of products you are used to buy you have used in the past that is your purchasing habit or brand interaction how do you interact with the brand how do you actually interact with the brand and your you know loyalty so uh, what kind of phone do you use at the end of the day uh, what i mean what's in your mind while you are buying a phone jab aap ek phone kharidte ja kharidne jaate ho to aapke mind mein kya hota hai i mean you have Uh, let's assume you have twenty thousand rupee in your pocket. ठीक है पहली तो बात this is your behavior. You may like iPhone fourteen uh, Pro Max, but you don't have one lakh and fifty thousand rupee, right? That may be your expectation, but this is the money that you have. That is this is your behavior. I mean, you in the past you bought a phone for 15 16000 now you are going to buy for like 15 20000 that is your behavior right and the customer loyalty uh there are people who are going to use a kind of brand again and again right for example i use ipad right uh i i love that product i mean this is the best product by apple i mean if you if you tell me that uh, you know there is an another brand product uh, from lenovo or samsung uh, you know tablets they are available for let's say 7000 rupee which was available for 30000 rupee i won't buy this because even 7000 is waste for me right and the same uh, you know goes i mean the 30000 rupee uh, rupee ipad is now available for 35000 or 40000 if i need it I, i'll still buy that that is a brand loyalty right that is the customer's loyalty towards that brand right so that is my behavior i love the product i'll keep on buying that product right that is my purchasing habit okay behavior uh, this is the consumer's behavior while making the purchase right behavioral segmentation so we can segment that so this is the market right this is the market so these many people uh, let's say they are uh, there are 1000 customers of apple and 75% are loyal they are they'll keep on buying the apple's product 25% may shift to android okay so that's how we can segment it we are going to promote the products to them differently and to them differently okay very common So students, IBPS SO Marketing 2022-2023 course is available on BankExamStudy.com, uh, and also apply for this one. The what uh, the note I was telling you, uh, this SPM CIL uh, Assistant uh, Manager Marketing Manager post, uh, 10th of October 2022. This is the last date to apply. I would highly recommend 
you to apply for this post very important salary is very good not many people are applying this is a golden opportunity for you do not miss this opportunity i am teaching for this exam as well bahut hi easy sa exam hai theek hai so uh, the course for the so marketing it is available on bankexamstudy.com uh, the recorded classes are there right live sessions are there complete syllabus coverage is provided the study material is available in downloadable format there are quizzes test series and proper interview preparation guidance is provided in the course i hope you liked uh, the session right and in case there is any doubt you can ask your doubts in the comment section right list of our students who cracked the ibps so marketing in 2022 in 2021 all these students who took our courses in the previous years and they cracked their respective exams i am really really happy for them right and if there is any doubt in your mind this is our whatsapp number uh just drop us a whatsapp message and we are going to answer your doubt just drop a whatsapp message we we are going to answer you and that's actually all for today students thank you and have a very very nice day that's all thank you